Joining us for a little bit is Cattle Parish Sheriff Steve Prater. Hey, Mr. Steve, welcome back to Keel. How you doing? Well, thank you. I'm doing fine, thanks. Okay, so there was the meeting yesterday. It was you. It was Shreveport Mayor Adrian Perkins. Who else was in the room? Tell us about the. Tell us about this confab, this get together. Well, it was the uh, FBI, the ATF, Louisiana State Police, City Marshals, um, uh, Shreveport Police. Uh, there was Cattle Sheriff and other federal agencies and probably some local ones and, and uh, we were all in there and representatives from the da's office and the u.s attorney's office mr yeah. steve this is a room i don't have to tell you this is some pretty heavy hitters and mayor perkins wanted to have this meeting so so he kind of pounds the gavel real or imaginary and he says you're probably wondering why i've asked you here today tell me what you guys talked about tell me what the mayor said well we talked about a number of things that we can do to assist uh, for inside the city limits with the with the crime problem that they have experienced and and also uh, now it's not as much uh, although crime is still worse than we would want it to be the crime numbers are down it's the perception of crime people still think that they are just as dangerous as they have always been and so what we try to what we're going to try to do is to just to reassure people by our presence and also by our presence uh, we will at the same time, be defer, uh, deterring crime and using it as a crime prevention uh, tool. So, in other words, we're not doing it this time. Of course, we are always constantly doing little operations that, that we don't brag about and that we don't tell people about. But we're just going to uh, be, have more <clears throat> more uniform and visible presence within the neighborhoods. Uh, I'm going to get the deputies to be riding through city neighborhoods more often. And hopefully that's going to help. And the state police are going to do what they need to do. The federal folks are doing what they need to do. We meet on a regular basis, this same group, um, in, in small numbers. Uh, in other words, we all meet and discuss different trees. But when we get together like that, we talk about the forest and the big, the big picture is what we talk about. To what degree was the plan made yesterday, i.e. the minutia? What is it specifically? Because we've sort of, in fact, when Miss Ollie was mayor, you had sort of put forth the idea, hey, we can help out if you want us. And it was not met with necessarily positive response. What's the difference now? Let's cover that first. What is the difference now between, between uh, well, now and, say, a couple of years ago? Well, the mayor and the chief of police. And they had, as I recall, there was a little more of um, um, a negative response, not only, I don't remember exactly what came from City Hall, you can fill me in, but from the Shreveport Police, there was sort of a, we don't really need the help, we just wish you would let us do our jobs. What do you think the mayor or what do you think you guys, uh, you guys or anybody can do to sort of assuage those concerns? Well, we're... Um we work very well with the Shreveport Police Department, and we always have. Uh, sometimes the leadership will, and of course leadership sets the tone, and sometimes leadership will get in the way of that. And, and so we've gotten, uh, we've got a chief of police right now that, that's very much wanting to work with all the entities, and uh, and we're we're busy working together. And uh, the Cattle Fair Sheriff's Office is happy to come into the city when we can. Now that's that's not to say that we're going to uh, ignore uh, or diminish our time that we spend in uh, doing our enforcement duties and, and uh, uh, deterrent duties in the parish, but we're going to also be spending more time in the in the city neighborhoods too, right there. And we're we're not there just to wave at kids or anything. We're there to uh, make sure that uh, everything is, uh, is is peaceful and and. Uh, the law-abiding folks are, are the winners. That was going to be my next uh, next question. When this came up a while back, you guys, as I recall, you had told us that the, the, you guys were sort going to sort of work the periphery, i.e. pick up the, the patrols and that the Shreveport police, then they would be freed up to work the more troubled neighborhoods. Is this different? Are you guys going to do a little more of, of the, the, the right. hardcore neighborhood stuff this time? Right, and we have been doing some operations. We did one, I believe it was two weekends ago, and I think we arrested something like 60 people uh, inside the city limits. And so we're we're there and we're doing those sorts of things. The old plan was that we were going to actually take over some beats and be responsible for them uh, 24 hours a day. 
and that was going to diminish our abilities to respond into the parish when needed. And so this is different in the fact that we're going to be, uh, as you you know, temporarily, like uh, if nothing much is going on out on the Mansfield Road, uh, well, they'll slip down and they'll make a pass through Cedar Grove and then head back out, making sure that the Mansfield Road is covered. Uh, but we'll be we'll be just doing that sort of thing, just uh, you know, just doing it as we can, uh, 24 hours a day, instead of taking a full beat and having to be there 24 hours a day and have the responsibility. Is is there any added cost to the uh, to the city of Shreveport for this? How exactly does that work, or is it just a hey, glad to help out, fellas? It's our pleasure. No, no, there's not going to be any cost. Uh, we we serve the entire parish, including the city of Shreveport. But our, our tax that we, the taxes are, that we collect for the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office is for the patrol outside the city limits of Shreveport, and the city is for a patrol inside the city limits. But we're all in this thing together. We can't let a little old uh, jurisdictional line uh, keep somebody from not being safe. One of the th- so we're, we're glad to come in and do what we can do, and do as, a, as a sheriff's office. One of the things that uh, Mayor Perkins mentioned with us yesterday was the concern about illegal weapons and in, in, in getting a handle on that problem in the city. And you had sent Matt some stuff earlier this morning. I didn't get a chance to look at a lot of it. Explain to folks what programs, what projects, what plans you are putting in place to sort of to sort of get a handle on illegal guns in in Shreveport and in Caddo Parish. Well, we're trying to do more, and we're trying to send them through the federal uh, system. The federal system is much smaller as far as the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office and uh, the federal judges. That's the smaller. They're not equipped to handle the numbers. But I, what I said to Matt this morning is a picture of a, a billboard on Uri Drive that says, uh, federal crime and a gun, no parole ever. And that's put up by the U.S. Attorney. Okay, at the same time, Louisiana, in, in our recent laws that were changed, we reduced the crime of felon in possession of a firearm. We reduced the penalty by half. We took the illegal use of firearms as no longer a violent crime, took it off the violent crime list. Home invasion with a firearm, if somebody breaks in with a firearm, in the middle of the night, we took off all the mandatories and reduced the penalty on that. So, in other words, you have the state system that is reducing and minimizing the use of firearms and firearms in possession of a possession of firearms. And you have the federal government bragging about the fact that you bring it to us and we're going to give you the maximum because criminals don't need guns. So, you see, it's a confusing, it's a confusing thing. We need Louisiana and the federal government. They need to be on the same page as far as how we're going to handle gun crimes. And I think criminals with guns is the most serious thing that you can you can we can come up against. 